Hey guys, welcome to my channel Somya's Book Station. I am Somya. If you like my videos, please like and share them and subscribe to my channel. Before beginning the video, I would like to share something with you guys. I participated in the Brunch Book Challenge for 2016 and I am one of the 24 winners for that challenge and I am really happy. This is a very good start to 2017. Now coming back to the video, in today's video I am going to show you guys 17 books. 15 out of which I got from the Delhi World Book Fair and the remaining 2 I ordered online. So let's get into the video. One more thing that I would like to tell you guys is that, that whenever I shop for books, I tend to go for the ones that are really popular or the ones that I've heard a lot about. But this time I did not do that. Instead, I got the ones that I thought were interesting by reading their blurb. So let's get started. The first one is... The Little Old Lady Who Broke All the Rules by Katrina Engelman Sundberg. This book is about a 79 year old lady who thinks that life is too short and she wants to live it extravagantly and she doesn't have funds and to arrange for the funds she decides to rob a bank. So the blurb was so quirky that I couldn't help picking it up. The next one is This Charming Man by Marion Keith. This is about a guy named Paddy Rigorsi who is a very charming politician and he's going to get married. And there are four women who are bound to him in some way or the other. One is going to be his wife, one is a journalist, uh, one is his first love and the last one is his girlfriend. So there are four different women, one man and something that binds them all. The third book is East of the Sun by Julia Gregson. This is a story set in 1928 when three women from the UK come to India and all three of them have different aspirations with regards to the life that awaits them. The next book is Ice Queen by Nele Newhouse. I'm not sure about the pronunciation of this author's name. Well, this is a serial killer thriller about a man named Josie Goldberg who is a survivor of the Holocaust but he is found dead near his house. Now, something that his autopsy reveals makes the detectives Pia and Oliver question his identity and they go on a mission to find out about this man and they have to go back to the events of the Second World War to find out any witness who might shed a light on the events. By Christine Henna, there are two sisters, Nina and Meredith, who are not at all close to each other and they are as different as they can be. Neither do they share a bond with their mother. But they do love their father. When he falls ill, these three women have to come together as he tells them a story that is captivating and mysterious and spans over a period of 65 years. And this story makes them change their mind about themselves and also it shakes their family foundations. The next book is The Unbearable Dream World of Champa the Driver by Chan Kun Chung. This is about a guy named Champa who is a chauffeur of a very rich Chinese lady named Plum. She is an art collector. Uh, sometime after his employment, he forms a physical relation with his boss and everything is turning haywire in his life. Then one day his boss brings home an exquisite statue and Champa embarks on a journey all the way to Beijing to discover the origin of the statue. The next book is Collected Stories by Anita Desai and as the name of the book suggests, it's a collection of short stories by Anita Desai. The next book is In an Antique Land by Amitabh Ghosh. This is an Indian slave's story who had been brought to Egypt by his Jewish master in 12th century. This book is a work of fiction, history, travel writing and anthropology talking about the relations between India and Egypt, Hindus, Muslims and Jewish people. The next book is A Prisoner of Birth by Jeffrey Archer. Danny is sentenced for 22 years and is sent to the Belmash prison from where nobody has ever escaped. His prosecution witnesses are four very influential people so naturally nobody believes his side of story. Now he is determined to seek his revenge. The next book is The Winter Folly by Lulu Taylor. This book is set in two time periods. One is in 1960s, the other one is in the present time. The 1960s part revolves around a woman named Alexandra and the current times part revolves around a woman named Delilah. Now these women, both of them are the daughter-in-law of the same house which is a very renowned house in London. And this is kind of a mystery and secretive kind of a book. So I'll talk about it more in my wrap up because I am reading it currently. The next book is a really famous one. Yes, I did get some famous books after all. It is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is a story about a girl who steals books and it is set in the time of World War II. So it is a historical fiction and I have heard that it's very emotional and a very gripping read and I cannot wait to start reading it. The next book is The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Berger. 
I have no idea about this book. I just picked it up because of the cover. I thought it's a chiclet and I haven't read one in a while. But now I'm thinking whether I did the right thing buying this book. So if anybody of you have read it, do let me know in the comments if it's worth reading or not. The next book is The Age of Kali, Indian Travels and Encounters by William Dalrymple. I had to get another book by William Dalrymple because I simply loved City of Jinns, A Year in Delhi by him. This book is his experiences while traveling in India and it sounds like so amazing that I cannot wait to start reading it. The next book is Ajaya, Epic of the Core of Clan, book 1, Roll of the Dice by Anand Neil Kanthan. This book is a retelling of Mahabharat from uh, the Core of Clan's perspective. I am obsessed with the retellings of the Indian epic Mahabharat and I cannot emphasize this enough. The next book is the one that I ordered online. This is Jaya, an illustrated retelling of the Mahabharat by Devdat Patnaik. I guess I just proved what I said earlier. I am obsessed with the Mahabharat retelling. So yeah. The next book I ordered online again which is Olympus, an Indian retelling of the Greek myths by Devdat Patnaik again. This book sounds so intriguing by its title and I've heard a great deal about it. Finally, I would like to show you guys the book that I'm happiest to have got. This is truly a gem of a book. This book is Fateh Triumph Over Tragedy by Kiran Bedi Attar. This book compiles the experiences of the children of the prisoners in their own language and handwriting. Uh, some, of, some of them wrote uh, their experiences in English like this and some of them wrote their experiences in Hindi. Basically, from what I could gather, these children are determined to convert their tragedy into triumphs which is such a heartwarming fact and I'm sure this book is going to make me very emotional but I couldn't help myself when I saw it and I got it. So that was it for my today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If anybody of you did go to the Delhi book fair, do let me know in the comment section which all books did you buy and how was your experience. And if you did not go to the book fair, then you can also tell me the names of the books that you got from elsewhere. I would love to know that. So if you would like to follow me on my social media, the links are going to be in the description box. I will be back with my next video super soon. Bye!